This one AI agent helped me collect $40,000 worth of subscriptions in a single day. And it's also the same AI agent that Alex Hermosa used for his launch to make $100 million in a day. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what that AI agent can do and exactly how you build it. The first thing the user does is that they decide who they want to talk to, if they want to talk to an AI version of me or an AI version of Oliver. And they can then ask any questions they want and the AI will then find the answers in my content. And it will even use my exact wordings that I'm using in my content, like the value first approach, which I call the decoy method. And this AI agent was a big part of the offering that we did on our launch, where we collected $40,000 worth of subscriptions for the new community that I've just launched, the 0.1%. The first thing you need is Poppy. If you go to the link in the subscription, it'll also apply this coupon code ALBA25, which will give you $25 off. When you get in, it's going to look like this. So we just click create new board and let's create another version of Homosi AI. The first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to click group and create a group. I can then go in and pick a bunch of the URLs to these videos that I find interesting and that I know Homosi's audience would appreciate. When we paste it in, it's going to transcribe the YouTube videos because that is what the AI uses as its context. A bunch of these videos where he analyzes businesses are going to be really good for the AI because there's a bunch of questions and answers and Hermosi's approach to business in here. Now we have a bunch of good videos and I could add more if I wanted to, but for now I'm just going to add these and then I'm going to click AI chat, which is going to give us this little chat window. And all I do is that I just connect the two and now our AI has access to this content. We are also going to add a couple of text fields. This is basically how you give rules to your AI. So I'm going to write never say based on my knowledge base, never say a variation of based of my content on my knowledge base. Instead, just provide the information and I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to create another text block. And in this, I'm going to describe the format, use markdown response like this. Cool, let's test it, shall we? How do I handle the objection I want to talk to my spouse? And you get a breakdown of exactly how Hermosi would solve this issue. You can either do two things now, because what you want to do is that you want to go out and sell this to creators. This could be in any industry where they make content. You could sell an AI that's based on their content that they can use for their communities and their audience and provide as a value add. The easiest way to do this is just to click chatbot right here and then give it a name like Hermosi AI and then click create chatbot because what this will do is this will give you a URL right here that has the same knowledge base. And this might be fine for some creators. If you want to be able to charge a little more, I'd recommend that you create your own front end. Let me show you how to do that as well. The first thing we do is that we head over to ChatGPT and we write in this exact prompt and then write make a detailed plan that I can give to my designer and hit enter because then ChatGPT will create a very clean B0 prompt for us. And then make sure to write this as well. The front end needs to be able to display markdown nicely as well. Then you'll get a very detailed B0 prompt that will save you a bunch of time. I'm going to take this very detailed plan. I'm going to head over to v0.dev because here's where we can design it. I'm then going to paste this in and then I'm going to use the model v0 max. Even though it's more expensive, it's going to be very worth it to use this model. What we also want to do is that we want to give v0 this code as well. What this is, is the API code that we should use. So I'm going to copy this chat GPT plan into v zero we also copy this right here and then we just write make sure to use this design plan and the api and then just write i'll provide the api key and the url later and we hit enter and now we will just let v0 create the entire front end for us awesome now it did its first draft and this is going to look very ai but we can then start optimizing it the way we want to in order to make it look something more like this which is what we launched for the 0.1 percent and if i test it you can see we need to add the api key in order for this to work. V0 is very good because if you run into issues, you can literally just ask V0 and then it's going to give you the answer or fix it in the code for you. But with an environmental value, you're going to have to add that yourself. So we insert the API documentation from the docs. We insert the chat GPT plan. Then we write, make sure to use this design plan. We can even write, get inspired from this screenshot. And then you can find a theme that you like. Let's say green futuristic theme. It's a really good 
good practice to actually let ChatGPT write your prompts because then we can just copy this, which is a very detailed prompt, way better that we could explain it ourselves. And then we can also copy that into B0. You want to give it as much context and just really describe exactly what it is that you want. We take this explanation of the theme. We also insert this and this will now start generating our entire chatbot front end. And now it's asking us to add API keys. To add those API keys, we just go back into Poppy AI. And then instead of doing a chatbot, we can delete that. Then we click on it and then we click API. And this is gonna give us this information right here. But the only things we need to insert is the external API URL and the API key. And there we have a pretty cool looking chatbot. And what we'll see now, and this happens sometimes, is that it doesn't actually format the information correctly, but it does get a response. So I'm going to write, we are currently not formatting it correctly. Can you please fix that so it displays nicely in Markdown with streaming formatting correctly as well? and I hit enter. Now it's responding correctly based on that API documentation. Let's say that I want to change this right here. I can say instead of this, please call it Mosi AI. And I can then tune up the front end to whatever I want it to look like. There we go. Now we have Hermosi's face right here in our chat window and we have in top left corner as well. I kind of like this. This looks pretty cool and this is something that's presentable that you could sell to a client. The next thing I would recommend that you do is that you set up some rate limiting because every time that they are responding in here, it's using credits inside of your Poppy account. To do that, we can just instruct it in edit in local storage so that they can only send 10 messages a day and all also, we write add the logic for that, please. And then it's not going to change anything in the front end, or maybe it might create an error message, but it's going to add it to the back end so they can only send 10 messages a day. And that way we keep the API cost down. Explain the closer framework. You can see now it says nine out of 10 messages left today. Now it's basically ready. You could sell this to a content creator for 2K upfront, a 3K upfront, and then 500 bucks a month if it continuously provides value and if you do a good job by providing the right context to the agent. I'm very happy with this one. So what I'll do is that I'll head over to the top right corner and I'll click publish. That's also one of the reasons that we use V0. V0 is owned by Vercel, which is a hosting platform, which makes it very, very easy to publish to the web. And we can then later just add our own domain to it. If I want to change the domain, what I would do is that I would head over to Vercel because this is connected to your Vercel account where you can host websites. I'll click on the chat design that we just created. I'll go to settings and then you can change the domains under domains. That is why this series is so cool because it's connected to the cell. Now you know how to give it context, upload all of the videos. Let's talk about how you would actually sell it because that's something a lot of people in the AI space never really talk about. They all, they all talk about the tech, but never about how you actually go out and sell it. Here is my exact approach. I would go find content creators that are active on social media. And then you would take what you have right here and you can create as many copies of this project as you want inside of V0. And then you can reach out to them in a couple of different ways. You can try and find their email that sometimes work. You can also reach out to them on Instagram, but they probably get a lot of messages on Instagram. You can reach out to them on Twitter. That sometimes works. But honestly, the best thing that you can do is to join one of their communities, like a school community, and then dropping a link to what you've created right here. What you do is that you basically just provide value first. And then you say, hey, man, I've created this that is based on your content. Give it a try and let me know what you think could also if you wanted to show this in ads because this has a wow factor and you can run ads directly to influencers and people on the social platforms that are creating content i'll charge depending on how big the client is fifteen hundred dollars up front for the setup and then something like 500 bucks a month but if you land a huge client then you can charge something like five thousand bucks up front if you're interested in ai and you want more one-to-one -one help from me then make sure to check out the 0.1 percent community in here we discuss a bunch of different tactics to land your first client to build ai agents and more importantly how to actually land clients thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day